Hello everybody, it's Sheila back again, welcome to my channel and welcome to the new year. This is my date on my, <laughs> you know, it's only the 2nd of January, I've just had to check on the, uh, the thing, I was sure it was still the 1st or the 2nd, and it's not through drink because I was not drinking on New Year. But this is just a little video. Um, I'm usually at my granddaughter's on the, um, the Sunday, but I had told her before the Christmas I was giving her a rest. That I wouldn't be down for a little while. She didn't need to make no dinner for me, but she still rang me this morning to see if I was coming down for my dinner. She couldn't remember. And I told her, no, I'll not be down today. I'll be down on Wednesday. And then she said, Oh, I'm working on Wednesday, Nana. So I says, Well, what day are you not working? And she says, Oh, I won't be working Tuesday. I thought, Well, I was going to come down Tuesday anyway because it's little Tommy's birthday. He's six on Tuesday. So I said, I'll come down on Tuesday instead. I said, I would have popped in on Tuesday. And just came down my Wednesday as um, normal, but uh, because I thought she'd have been working on Tuesday, but anyway, that's sorted. So I'm doing a little bit knitting, and this is a little sweater I'm knitting at the, um, the moment. I'll show you. I'm doing this, I'm actually using a pattern. This is a little pattern, it's years old, and... I'm doing this one for a little girl. It's having a, a lacy pattern on the, um, the front. It's going to be a, a 22 inch. I have three balls of this Poundland cream. There's just enough to do a 22 inch. I know I can get a 22 inch out of um, three balls. And I agree if you're watching this, these sizes are no good for you. I'm going to do a bigger size for you, so don't ask for them. <laughs> Because she asks, as soon as she sees me doing any children's one, she asks for them straight away. But I'm telling her that I know what's, what she's told me, the age of her granddaughter. So I'm going to do some larger ones, daggery. So these ones will be no good for you. But anyway, that's the one I'm doing. And I also have some turquoise in Poundland. Um, this was, yes, the cream. The different labels on the um the poundland um i don't know when they stopped putting these labels on but this was sent to me by sandra well sandra sent this this to me and it's nice it's nice wool the poundland um wool so i'm going to have enough i have three balls of the turquoise as well so i'm going to do a little boys sweater with probably a little instead of like the lazy pattern like cables up the um the front and that was the other little one I was doing. The, um, it's come out to 20 inch, this one. It's like seven and a half inches from here up to the armhole and eight inches for the sleeve. And I think it's 12 inches on the, the back. It's 12 inches up to here, but 30, about nearly 13 inches, including the, um, the neck part. And I've put buttons on the, um, the back. Now I had to put bigger buttons than I wanted on the um the back of this because it's when you're knitting the um this part here is knitted in with the um the whole of the the sweater you're knitting across the whole row and changing to to guard a stitch well you're using a larger needle and the holes for the buttonholes have come out too big because i wanted smaller buttons than that but i had to put that size on so the other ones i'm gonna have to work out how to do a smaller buttonhole probably have to twist the stitch i think probably to make the buttonhole smaller so we use smaller um buttons but anyway that's what i did <coughs> and that one will be going on my etsy etsy shop um i'll be putting it up for 11 pound if anybody wants it before it goes on etsy just message me my email address is in the description box and if anybody wants it they can send me the money through my own bank account and that will save me paying etsy the fees that they charge because 
I don't end up with very much after they take out what they want out of your, um, your things. But anyway, um, it'll be on Etsy sometime, probably tomorrow I'll put it on there. My phone keeps pipping, where is it? I'm just going to have a look on my phone cause to see who's keep mess messaging me. Oh no, it's just the girls, there's nothing to, to worry about. Just the girls are my bingo group. We we'll have a group on Messenger, Facebook Messenger. And it's always going pip, 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 because they're always talking to each other. And we're having a cup of tea as well. I hope everybody's enjoyed their the holiday. I've had a good <laughs> phone again. I think I need to turn the sound up on that um, phone. I think that was a... Um, I get a noise out like that when I get a comment on uh, YouTube. But this pattern here... You'll notice it's a very old pattern. That's the price on there. It's 5p. <laughs> um, 5p. This is our old money was a 5 with a D, but this is 5p, so it must have been made after um, 1970. I think it was 72 when we went into the common market. And that's a rant, that the common market. Everything had to change for us when we went into the common market. Um, our money. The kids today don't know how easy they've got it for working out money. Everything is in tens, twenties, thirties, hundreds. With us, we had, there was 12. Some of you older subscribers will remember the old uh, money, but the younger ones won't. But we had 12 pennies to a shilling. Well, actually, we started off with farthings when I was a child, a very small child. I remember going to the shop with a, um, a farthing. But to get a couple of little chews, <laughs> little sweets, you could get a couple for a farthing. And <clears throat> there was four farthings in a penny. So I don't know how many farthings was in a pound. I'd have to work that out. I can't remember. But there was four farthings to a penny and then after the farthings come the halfpennies or the half pennies there was two of those to a penny and then we had the pennies and there was 12 pennies in one shilling and we used to have a threepenny bit as well that was three pennies that was one single coin that was three pennies and then there was a sixpence that was the slang for that was a tanner that was six pennies. That was a separate coin. That was six pence. Six, six pence. That's what we used to see, six pence. And then <clears throat> the shilling. We used to have a two shilling coin. The proper name for that was a florin. And then we had the half a crown. That was two shilling and a six pence. And there used to be eight half crowns in a pound. There used to be, um, now I'll start off from the, uh, the pennies. There was 240 pennies in a pound. The threepenny bits, I think there was 80 threepenny bits in a pound. The sixpences, there was 40 sixpences in a pound. And then the shillings. There's 20 shillings in a pound. So the florins, the two shillings, there was 10 of those in a pound and then the half crowns, there was eight of those in a, um, a pound. And that's how we used to have to work out our money. When we were kids, when at school, that was how we had to work out. So it was very hard compared to nowadays where everything's just 10, 10p, 20p and so on like that. And it was also the same with weights and measures. <clears throat> the weights were, we had um, 16 ounces in a pound. It was 14 pound made a hundred weight. 20 hundred weight, I think was a ton. This is, I'm going this from memory. I'm not sure whether I'm absolutely um, right, but uh, we used to have them um, well, at school, we used to get small bottles of milk 
and I think they were called a jill. And they were less than a pine. I'm not sure how many jills there was in a, um, a pine, but uh, that's how much, you know, things have changed since we joined the, um, the common market. And I was never very happy about it. And then knitting needles, that really annoyed me. We went from our old English sizes, um, the four millimeter we had for size eight. The, um, our size nine was 3.75 millimeters. The size 10 was 3.25 millimeters and so on down to smaller sizes. Um, 11 was three millimeter. And higher, I still have a lot of old knitting needles with the old sizes on. And even now, I still have to um, to work out if I get something in millimetres. If it's more than five millimetres, I haven't got a clue what size it is in old things. And a lot of my patterns are still in the old sizes. <laughs> when they tell you, instead of a four millimetre, they say you want a size eight needle or a size ten needle and that. And, and if I use any of the patterns um, with the thicker ones, I have to check on, I've got a little gauge thing and I have to check on that little gauge what the sizes are because my mind still thinks pre-common market. We joined the common market and that's what happened to, um, to us. But we could go back to all those old sizes. Now I very much doubt whether anything will change but um, we could do because even in the, um, the shops we never bought anything in um, litres or like when we used to buy um, sweets, we used to get two ounces of sweets. We didn't get whatever grams or grams, I don't even know how many grams it is in two ounces. <laughs> I do have a little book somewhere that tells me all these things, but um, that's something I never, I never liked. And I'm not bothered that we're not in the common market anymore. There's a lot of things that people don't like about us coming out of the, um, the common market, but it doesn't affect me so... I'm not bothered anymore. But that's just a little rant. So I'm going to sit and do some knitting and I will be getting back to my orders. Now I have this one. I started this one because I'm doing a tutorial. This is for Angela. But I've started doing this one because I'm doing little bits of the, the tutorial and I was going to, th I thought I might do a, um, a knit along and I've done a little video and I've shown how to cast on the stitches and um, to work out the swatch, how to do, how, how to work out how many stitches and everything and how many rows of the swatch and I've shown how to do the rib and how to do the little bit of the pattern. So I'm going to, when I get up to the armholes, I'll put it on the first part. It's going to have to be in a few parts because it'll take quite a bit, quite a lot to explain the whole lot because this is a 46 inch cardigan. The actual measurement's going to be 46 when it's um, finished. That's um, the size that Angela wants. So I have started and as you can see, I've done just a little bit now and again, just to start the video off. But as soon as I get up to the armholes, I'll be putting it up and it'll be on my other channel, Sheila's Just Knitting. Because that's where I'm doing, that's where I do things like this on my um, other channel. Like I do um, show how to do anything because you only see my hands on that one. I don't sit and talk to, to you and don't rant about this, that and the other on that channel. So as you can see, it's just uh, one of my little patterns I do and I call this open moss stitch. I'm not sure what the actual proper name for it is. It is a proper name for it, but um, that's what I, I call it. So I've done just this little bit. And when I get enough, like I said, when I get up to the armholes, so anybody that wants to knit along, you just check on my Sheila's Just Knitting. The, um, the channel is at the end. It'll be at the end of this video. It'll come up where it shows subscriber things and that on the screen. So you just need to click on that and it'll take you onto, um, onto that channel. So 
that's just a little bit of that and I'm going to do a little bit more of this little sweater and I will show you when I get to the front to show you the um the pattern on this this one because it's like a, um like a fan type of lace thing on the um the front when I do a little bit of that I'll do a little bit video and show you how it's done so thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you all another time so bye for now